There's a huge community of book lovers online. Go on Pinterest or even Etsy and you'll find tons of digital graphics made for book lovers. One trend that's gaining lots of popularity are digital book stickers. So they're simple PNG graphics that you can upload to apps like GoodNotes or Notability, and you could decorate your digital planners or even your digital reading journals. People are making really good money just selling these simple products. And I'll walk you through how to create an entire set, how to create the mock-up listings for Etsy, and how to upload them to your shop. Make sure to watch because you're going to learn a lot. Let's get started. So to create my digital stickers fast, I'm going to go to a website called playground.com. So I typically struggle when it comes to actually typing in prompts to create an AI image. So I like that I can just scroll through a commercial free catalog of graphics where I could change the text, update the colors, and even export it as a PNG. And unlike Canva graphics, I could actually resell these since they are commercial use. So I'm gonna check out the trending templates and it looks like literary lovers are one of the trending items. So I'm gonna select this one. So the sidebar also includes similar templates. We could always select some of these for our set. So I actually want to change the text on this graphic. And in the prompt box, I'm going to say, change text to reading is cheaper than therapy. So I went ahead and changed the text in the graphic. So once that's done, I'm gonna to go to export and it gives you the option to upscale and also remove background. Keep in mind, these are pro features, but you can still download the graphic for free. Then I'm gonna go back and choose another one from that sidebar. This one's really cute. I wanna update the text to just one more chapter and then download that for my kit. Let's go back to the literary lovers section on the homepage. I'm gonna choose this one. You could always ask the free version of ChatGPT to help you come up with different literary book talk phrases like this one. This one says, I told myself one more chapter. That was six hours ago. I'm gonna upscale and export this one. So for this next sticker, I want something a bit more typographic. They do have typography templates and I found one that would work perfect for a sticker. So I'm going to change the text to this book owns my heart. So that came out really cute. Now let's go ahead and export that one. So I decided to do a search for reading to see what kind of results I get. And I found this really cute coffee mug. So I'm gonna change it to coffee and chapters and then actually updated it and changed the color to purple. So I'm going to export and remove the background for this one. Then I just went through the catalog, found some really cute graphics that fit my set, updated the text and exported them. And for a few of the stickers, I actually just updated the colors to add my own spin to them. So now that I have all 15 stickers, I'm actually gonna jump into Canva and create my mock-up listings for Etsy. I'm gonna create a new document, which is 1000 by 1000 pixels, then just click and drag to upload those sticker PNGs to Canva. So for my first mock-up listing, I want to include all of the stickers on an iPad to make it look a little realistic. So I just added a title, digital stickers for book lovers. I put it on Arch, but I think I might change that a little later. Now I'm just placing them throughout the iPad. And I want to find a really cute, simplistic desk setup for my background. So I'm just going to add that to my background, fade that just a little so it's not as heavy it doesn't have too much contrast. So I like to use the word good notes. This is a really popular digital planner app that people use. So I add that as one of my calls to action. And I'm just going to add the amount of stickers that we have here. So I decided to make the word digital stickers nice and large and use the niche book lovers for this little pop out over here at the left. So this way it's much easier to read. For the next mock-up listing, I wanna just include each individual sticker on a blank white background. So this way people know exactly what they're getting. So I recommend always creating a mock-up that says these particular products are digital downloads only and no physical items will be shipped. A lot of people don't actually read the description and they'll just look at the mock-up listings. So if you include important items in the mock-up listing, that will definitely save you a lot of heading in the future. This next mock-up listing is going to be a fun one. So I actually want to recreate a reading journal. So I'm going to look up a reading tracker or reading journal in Canva and then take a screenshot of it. So this way I could put the screenshot in my iPad. And then I'm just going to strategically place a few stickers around it and then also just fill it out using a fun little handwritten font. 
So this gives it more of a realistic feel of how these stickers will look on a book journal. So for the final mock-up, I'm actually gonna use the mock-ups app and I'm going to select tablets and TV. So these are really great in use realistic images that we could use for our product mock-up. So I'm just going to take a screenshot of that book review that I created and add it to the mock-up. So now that we have our static mock-ups, I'm actually gonna create a video mock-up for Etsy. So this really helps our chances of converting to sales. So let me show you a really quick way to create it fast. So duplicate that first page, then remove all of the words, and we're just going to make everything larger. Then click on the show page thumbnails at the bottom and then select duration. So this way we could actually see the video panel. Select animate at the top and then just select a page animation from the left hand side. So I'm going to select scrapbook because it looks really cute with the digital stickers. I'm going to use that same effect on two other mockups. So when we download our MP4 video file, we could just select these three mockups and it will download as one full video. So let's first download all those PNGs we created, the static images. So I'm just going to select PNGs. Now let's download the video. So I'm just going to select those three mockups that I use the animation for, and I'm going to select MP4. You could still use those mockups as static images also. So for our final design, we're going to create a delivery template. So this is the template that your customer will see when they download the PDF. So you can create your own. This specific template is from my digital planner starter kit, and we're going to store all of our PNGs that we originally created from Playground into a Google Drive folder. So this is free to create. To generate the link, click on the little arrow by the title, then click share. So under general access, you're going to select anyone with a link. So this is really important. Then click copy link. So back in Canva, I'm going to update that button title and then right click link and paste that Google Drive link right there. Make sure you click done. Then I'm just gonna go ahead and brand this template a little, update my email address. This template has some instructions to help your customer. You could also add social links. To export it, make sure to select PDF standard. Now let's create our Etsy listing. So for the title, I'm actually going to do a search for book stickers and just see what other sellers have. So it looks like the majority of them start out with digital book stickers. And I'm gonna keep a note of commonalities in terms of the keywords that people use for their title. I'm seeing a lot of digital book stickers, reading, good notes, book lovers, notability, journals, planners, PNGs. I'm just going to pack it with lots of keywords. I'm not adding commas or those little pipes. For the next step, I'm gonna add the mock-up listings and just rearrange them based off of what I want people to see first, as well as the video. For the description, I always like to ask ChatGPT. I add all the details as well as any important keywords that I'd like it to weave in. And I like that it breaks it down into what's included, the uses, any types of terms. And then I'll paste that into Etsy. For pricing, I like to check to see what other people are pricing at and price it in the middle. For quantity, I'm going to select 999 because I want this to auto renew anytime someone purchases it. And then select add core details. So we're going to change it to digital file. So this way we can upload our PDF. So just fill this out. You made it. It's a finished product, the year, and then select with an AI generator since we created everything with Playground. Under category, I'm going to do a search for stickers and select the stickers category. And then for tags, I'm just going to repurpose all of the keywords that I used in the title. Make sure you use all 13. I like to select automatically renew. And before you hit publish, make sure you upload your digital file. So the delivery file that your customer will receive after they purchased it. Then scroll to the bottom and you could either press publish or preview. So I'm going to press preview. So this way we can get a good idea of what everything looks like on the customer side. So the video looks good. The mock-up listings look good. You could even check out the description and then press publish. If you're interested in more digital sticker videos, make sure you comment below and don't forget to subscribe if you like these types of videos. Thanks for watching.